Hey you guys, welcome to Consume the Goodness. My name is Kendra. I'm a certified lifestyle and weight management coach and this channel combines healthy lifestyle with God's word and this week is going to be a little bit different. It's more just something that I wrote and well, I guess while you're watching slash listening or just listening, whatever, think of maybe some of your own stuff. So I'll just play that and then um, I'll come back to that. What in the world is wrong with me? Why am I this way? I'm a disappointment left and right. I screw up every day. As a mom, wife, daughter, and friend, I drop the ball here, miss the mark there. At work, at home, and all that I do, it's like I'm well done impaired. Wait, what am I doing? What kind of mind is this? I have kids to set an example for. On top of that, of course I'm imperfect. I'm flesh and bone. But I'm still a child of God and still adored. If Jesus himself knows my heart and mind and every blemish that lies in between, then maybe I need to stop looking at myself as a failure at life. Worthless. Unclean. I guess it's a good thing I can recognize my faults. Otherwise, how would I know where I need to improve? I don't want to ignore my flaws and just stay stagnant. I want to go in a positive, productive direction. I'm ready to move. So maybe this bad isn't bad at all. I shouldn't be angry or sad. Because these flaws help me see where there's room to grow. So now I'll call these things good bad. So as you're, I guess, thinking back now, if you listen back to that, then maybe as you're doing it, Put, maybe put your own stuff in there like your own personal things your own personal struggles in the first half but leave the second half as it is but the first half stuff I just did from my own I used to write all the time I have a whole folder of just poems and different things that I've written and I haven't done that in a really long time so I sat down the other night before bed and I just wrote something real quick I mean could this be better? Yes, I wrote this in about 15 minutes. So it's not like I, it was a really long time put into it, but it still had meaning. It still came from the heart and I guess hopefully still relatable. So that is, I guess, what I'm like trying to tie that into with you guys putting your own stuff in there. I am really hard on myself. So, and I have also through the years struggled sometimes off, sometimes on with depression and a lot of the reasons you know a lot of the depression type stuff came from these things that I listed in the first half of what I wrote although I don't feel this way all the time you know about the first half I don't feel like that all the time I used to feel these things all the time though even though I don't feel that stuff all the time anymore I still have my moments I still have moments of thinking certain things about myself as a mom or a wife or just like where limitations are you know with my medical stuff certain things I'm not able to do or not fully able to do things like that where those types of thoughts will start to creep in it's a much I guess it's a much better feeling now because before you know some time ago it was a lot of the first half of this thing that I wrote and very little of the second half. And even if I had moments of thinking the second half, it usually didn't last that long. That I really believed that I was just crap, that I sucked in all these different areas. And now it's switched where it's a lot more of the second half and moments of the, you know, the first stuff. So that's why I was saying like, if you listen back to it, maybe put your own stuff in there. You, the, your own things that you struggle with or that sometimes bring you down or that make you feel a certain way like a disappointment or less than or like you're not good enough or whatever but then also just super important to keep the ending the same because we are loved we are adored as children of God even though we are super flawed he's still there he still loves us he's still right there with us holding our hand reaching out to us when we kind of wander off from him a bit we can always go back and he loves us and he's, you know, it's just, it's still a thing. So even though we might think these things about ourselves, God still loves us and that's something super to hold on to and to remember because it will help bring us back too, if that makes sense. It's good to be able to see, to be able to stop and think in a healthy way, not in a way that's like, 
I'm horrible. I suck at this. I'm I'm terrible at that. I will, you know, but but just to respectfully for your own self, respectfully acknowledge and recognize and have an open enough mind to be able to like scan your own self for areas that you could do better. We have to like kick pride out. We have to be humble. We need to be open-minded about ourselves or maybe something that somebody else is saying to us, like maybe pointing something out to us. It's good to not just be on the defense, but then at the same time, it's also good to not completely kick ourselves and stomp ourselves into the ground like we are just terrible, terrible waste of breath on this planet. Anyway, that is it. That's all I have for you guys. I wrote it and I was like, oh, hey, I guess I can kind of make this the video and see if maybe that's encouraging somehow. I don't know. If it is, then I'm glad. And if it's not, then I apologize for wasting your time. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. God bless. And I hope to have you back for the next one.